Yusuf Ambai comes to this hospital three times a week for physiotherapy. He was shot and left for dead in 2000 by troops loyal to Gambia's former president, Yahya Jame. Yusuf says he was only able to regain partial use of his hand after 22 years of physiotherapy. Doctors say his survival was a miracle. Even eating is quite a struggle. The Gambia's Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission recommended he be paid compensation, but he returned the $400 he was given. I didn't need money. I need my health. My health is more important than anything else. And that is something neither his attackers, the Truth Commission, nor the current government can give him back. Survivors and victims' families have singled out members of the hit squad known as the junglers for most of the atrocities committed under former President Yahya Jami. They want them tried and punished. But activists also want political leaders to be held accountable for not stopping those crimes. Journalist and Red Cross volunteer Omar Baro was killed while helping victims shot by the security forces. His family believed he was targeted because of his work as a journalist. His widow, Awasani, isn't as confident the report the government will release will bring closure. You just cannot reconcile and forgive people without knowing how can you forgive somebody? You don't know who, who killed your husband. How can you forget that person? You have to have justice then. Then after we forgive, we reconcile. But before that, we need justice. For her, justice means punishing those responsible for the crimes committed, including Yahya Jami, who she says still has some influence here in the Gambia. The government says it took this long to ensure a thorough and satisfactory job of investigating allegations of rights abuses. Officials hope government action on the Rights Commission's recommendations could heal wounds and reconcile a nation struggling to come to terms with its recent past. But most victims like Yusuf Ambai remain skeptical. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Banjul, The Gambia.